today is Monday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. Today is actually the Monday before Thanksgiving. You guys will actually see this video after Thanksgiving. So I hope everyone had a really happy, lovely time with your family. I hope you ate really well, didn't eat too much. And I hope you got in some really good Black Friday sales. Want to send out, this would be future Black Friday sale for the Unfrumpy Mommy store. So hope you guys had a great time shopping with the Unfrumpy Mommy store. I wanna say everything in the store was 20% off. That was everything that's regularly in the store. And then also um, the Shop My Closet section of the store was also 20% off. So I hope you guys had a great time. Uh, we are in a different location right now as I'm filming this video. We are here at Margaritaville. We are in a different cottage from the last two times Eric and I were here. Chase is here. We also have some other family members here on this particular trip. Um, so it's going to be a great time. So again, for you guys, Thanksgiving is over. For us, we are just in the Monday before Thanksgiving. Um, we're going to do some really fun things. We are actually going to hit up some theme parks this trip. But you guys know this trip is also business as usual. So we have a couple of showings today. Uh, we have one in just about an hour. It's like 7.30 right now. So we have one in just about an hour. And then we have another one on tomorrow. And that is it, guys. And so in this video, you will have our decision on the home situation. So that's all going to take place in this video. But I woke up to the news this morning. You guys will already know this um, if you are Disney heads, right? If you, if you don't do the whole Disney thing, then you may not know what I'm talking about. But we woke up this morning and um, Chapek is out. Bob Iger is in, yay, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody was listening to the customer. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, um, the most recent CEO of Disney, uh, Bob Chapek, has been let go. And a lot of us Disney fans are really, really happy because, you know, he's just been really doing some trash things around here. Like this morning, we got up trying to get... Um, reservations because that's what you have to do now here uh, at Disney you have to get reservations for a ride and a lot of the popular rides we could not get reservations for and so it just sucks so we're hoping that now <clears throat> with Iger being in place you know things can go back to the way they were in terms of just how the theme parks were run you know we, nobody's really liking it right now i know that we we're not liking you know things were things were being run you know under the um leadership of uh Chapek. but anywho uh again hope you guys are doing well on today hey, we got in really late last night too um traffic was terrible um, there's the sitting area back there that leads upstairs. There's a bedroom right around there. Won't go in there. People are sleeping over here. This leads out to the patio and everything. Of course y'all know we had to come to our favorite Target. This is one of the Targets that has the notorious kickballs in the front. Let us know in the comments if you have a Target with these red kickballs. Down, leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever purchased a swimsuit out of Target and how it's wearing. Target has some really nice swimsuits. Really nice. Like this is a good one if you're going somewhere like let's say our favorite ish correct and you need you know not one that's doing the most but one let's say if you're going to be zip lining this is a real good one right here you know everything isn't going to be falling out um and let's see how much is it they have great prices typically on their swimsuits also this one is 42 dollars so the last time we were here in orlando i picked up one of these little I don't know what you would call it. This is the actual one that I have right here. It's from True 
and co like a bra top that's the back of it so well, i picked up the lift scoop bra the last time i was here and i actually put it on what was it day before yesterday for the first time and oh my gosh i absolutely love it so it has pads in here and this one is obviously a v-neck and like it says this one actually lifts the girls and i love the fact that the back is you know there are no straps or anything back there so it's going to be nice and smooth so um, i will absolutely be purchasing some more of these the straps um, they're really wide but as you can see it's not adjustable and um, if you get the correct size you really won't you know need to have it adjusted they have this kind of silicone here underneath and um, it does a good job keeping it in place and the price is $22 yeah $22 so that's not bad so if you see these here these little um, bra tops is what I'm calling them if you see them in your target give them a try and let me know how you like them as you can see they have them in a variety of colors there's like a blush pink there's this natural brown there's this green one here and black but this is actually the color that I have I'm thinking this right here is a whole vibe once you try it on this sheer detail here I think this is the type of dress that really accentuates the curves for the curvy girls like this is a good fabric it's it's just thick enough and I love that it has um, I won't say it's a really 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 deep deep V cut right there but it's just V cut enough um, for those of us with the larger chests but I, I've always liked dresses like this with this type of detail here but um, yeah really pretty color too for fall Target is a whole vibe right now and they're playing music so I'm gonna hurry up and talk about this but do you guys remember the Alexander McQueen sneakers Target has a nice little dupe for those those of us with the Tory Burch trainers they have these cute those of us loving the loafers right now um, these are very very similar to the Gucci loafers so if you're looking for a cute dupe Target has you covered So, who is this? Smashbox has this one. But I don't think, I really, I'm pretty confident this one is too light. This palette is too light. However, it's $43 and you get 50% off of theirs. But I don't know, maybe it could work. The colors do seem to be pretty similar. I don't know, maybe I will get it. This is Smashbox, Kat Von D. I've used Kat Von D's products before. I really do like them. Never use Smashbox. And so maybe there's a reason this one is 50% off. That's what we end up doing for 50% of our vacation. Coming to Target, like we don't have three Targets <laughs> within a mile of our house in Atlanta. Like Target has some cute sunglasses, guys, but I think they should make them a little larger. For people with big heads, yeah, with massive yeah. heads. I think, but you know what, I have a small head, but I think I have a big face. Mm. And I like when my sunglasses kind of extend out. Okay. Um, so I won't be getting these, but what do you guys think about this bag? So, blue clay is everywhere right now. Furniture, clothing, purses. You know, the purse this? almost matches the, uh, did you do that on purpose, the glasses? Y'all um, seen this bag, let me know what y'all think about it. I'm really thinking about getting What was that? What were those sweaters? What were y'all buying for you? It was some kind of sweater jacket. It was like a teddy bear sweater coat, something. It looks like that. The teddy jacket. The teddy coat. Yeah, the teddy, the teddy coats. coats. Yeah, the we teddy. were obsessed with that. So now it's teddy everything yeah, and else. Yeah, this is only $35. Um, it's really roomy on the inside. So we'll see. We'll 
we'll see. But yeah, we're in Target because I need to grab me some coffee, guys. Yeah. So I have my coffee now. The ladies in front of us ordered 12, 12 drinks. Yeah. Guys, I don't know. I just love this Target. I just absolutely love this Target. Like, I bet our Target today is like a madhouse in Atlanta. But here, again, this is still the week of Thanksgiving. Babe, today's Tuesday? Yes. Yeah, today's Tuesday before Thanksgiving. And there are people in here, but it's not real bad. So I know that everybody is into the uh, four or $500 candles. But these five and $10 Opal House candles here at Target smell amazing. Oh, I'm here for This balsam fur. Oh my God, that smells amazing. And it's $5. This is holiday spruce. Holiday spruce. Holiday spruce is really similar to balsam fur in scent. Uh, let's try the wild hibiscus sangria. Ooh. Mmm, this is nice, but I don't see it as in a smaller one. Um, only the $10 size. It's a two wick. If I can find this in the smaller size, I'm absolutely gonna get it. Oh gosh, they have an eggnog latte. Eggnog latte. That one smells super sweet. Not really a big fan of that one. It's not bad though. Peppermint snow. So these labels are really reminding me of the ones at Bath and Body Works. Um, oh gosh, I love peppermint snow. I may have to get this one. It's a little later and we're getting ready to head out. I am the first one dressed. So I want to kill a little time and share with you guys what I picked up from Target. I think most of the items I shared with you guys while in the store. So first up is going to be the Snowfall Scented Candle. And of course, this is from the Opal House brand. I just got it in the small size. This was $5, single wick, but I have to say this candle packs a powerful punch. In the past, historically, I have not really been a huge fan of the Target candles. You know, if you compare them to some of the other scented candles, but their Christmas collection, I really, really do enjoy. So this was one of my favorites. So again, this is Snowfall and it's the Opal House candle. It has like a mixture of sweetness. It has some, um, Pinesy, woodsy notes, and of course, all that Christmas flair. Now, one scent that I absolutely can describe is Gain. And you guys know that right now, everybody everywhere is using the Dawn spray soap. Well, this is new to me. Gain has their own. And if you love the way the Gain uh, laundry detergent smell, you will absolutely love this. Same scent, the ultra clean scent. It is just, it's, I, I love game. Um, so I picked that up to take back home. We're not doing any dishes here. And I think I shared with you guys the concealer that I picked up. So this is Max NW, Max. This is Max NW24 Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. And it says, um, it doesn't crease, we will see. Um, oh my gosh, I think this might be too light. Oh, now see, that doesn't even look, it looks a little darker here on the packaging. I should have opened it. I should have opened it. Um, gosh, I don't wanna put this on, but, oh, this is not gonna work. I, I, this ain't, this, ooh, this gotta go back. This has definitely gotta go back. So I'll be taking this back to Target today yeah that's just i'm not even gonna mm -mm, mm -mm, it's too light it's too light and i know typically the concealers are going to be a little lighter but that is absolutely not going to work so i will take that back uh while we're out today you guys know target is just up the street and then i picked up the smashbox 
Cali Contour palette, and this is in medium dark. So in the store, as you guys saw, I just couldn't decide whether to get it or not, but I went ahead and went with it. It was 50% off. Um, I love that it has this little card here to kind of show you everything to do. And I, you know what, I think it's gonna work. I like the colors. I think they'll work. So got that. And what else did I pick up? Oh, so on the way to the register, I went down just the regular makeup aisle. You guys know I was over in the Ulta section. I saw this black radiance palette. This is medium to dark and it's a contour cream palette. And these are the colors there. So we'll give this a try. I've never tried a cream palette. So we'll see. We'll see how this does. And this was like $9. Yep. So that's everything. Oh, one more thing I picked up. I also picked up this little clock. This is from Threshold and it's just an alarm clock. I, don't, I didn't really need it, but I was just really drawn to the matte black color with the gold accents. I thought this would be really cute somewhere. Uh, it does use batteries. So I'll need to put, looks like a double A battery in here. So yeah, that was it. That's everything that I picked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and package this guy back up take that back today but yeah so as you guys can see i'm just wearing one of the tees from the store the chanel tee from the uncrumpy mommy store i'll have a link for this below as i back up you can kind of see that i'm just wearing uh some black leggings i will probably i'm pretty sure i will tie this up a little bit so that it's not so long my tees are really long i've said this before for those of us who want to, you know, sometimes have a little bit more bum coverage, you will absolutely be provided with that coverage when you uh, purchase from the Unfrumpy Mommy store. So, but if you don't want to have it long, you know, you can just kind of tie it up on the side. Um, it has warmed up a little bit today. Um, so I will probably not need my jacket today. Yesterday was a little bit cooler um so yeah t having it tied up without the jacket you know it's really cute but you can tie it up with the jacket also and i'll probably wear my black and white nikes yeah i'll probably wear my black and white nikes but this is the look for today still waiting on these guys to get ready and yeah i'll see y'all in a little bit quick question guys how long do you guys wait before being acknowledged or have someone come over and take your drink order before you walk out of a restaurant for me it's about two and a half minutes yeah i give them about two and a half minutes before we walk out so this is actually the second restaurant that we have tipped into here at sunset walk the first one being a barbecue place that we've actually eaten at before and um, i do understand that this is the holiday again this is the tuesday before thanksgiving and so a lot of places i'm pretty sure are understaffed however i feel that if you're open um you should be ready to, to you should be ready for business. So we went, sat, and I wanna say we waited about two and a half minutes, maybe even a, a little bit longer in there, and then we walked out. So we're here now, and I was just teetering on the verge of walking out of here, but then our really friendly uh, server walked over, so it's all good. But do drop down, leave a comment. How long do you wait before getting up and walking out of a restaurant after being seated?
Uh, the cottage is at Margaritaville. We are at um, Island H2O, and they are having like this really nice this lights festival. There are so many Christmas trees, and as you can hear, they're um, singing, playing the piano. It's snowing. I probably have like snow in my hair. So I'm having a good time. Nip in the air, so wearing my jacket. Um, but yeah, just really nice. Um, there's popcorn, pretzels, churros, hot chocolate. Santa's out here, so really great fun for the kids and just the family in general. Are right, you getting in her school? Day really cleared up. You see how pretty it looks now? Hope everyone ate well. I hope you got a little, little exercise in and I hope that you are currently now enjoying those yummy leftovers. Sad to say there are no leftovers here in this house. You guys know within this video, we were actually in Orlando. And so we came back to an empty house. We did have a few dishes in the sink that I um, kind of cleared away over there. We typically leave with the house you know, pretty clean as you guys can see behind me. It's not a big mess, but we, this was a last minute trip. You guys know why we were there. I'm about to get to that in a minute. Um, so we didn't have a time, uh, have time to do all of the dishes. It was just like a pan and a couple of mugs and some like some food storage containers. But I'm happy to say that I did use my new game dish washer dish, <laughs> my new game dish washing spray. Guys, this stuff smells so good. You guys saw that I picked this up while we were in Orlando. And if you love the laundry scent that Game provides, you will absolutely love this. Um, some of you may wonder why would you need dish washing 
liquid in a spray, but I think it's great when you have just a few dishes, you don't really want to run an entire sink of water. This really comes in clutch. So love, love, love this one. Some of you may already have the Dawn one, but I really love this scent, but I'm sure they do the same thing. But yeah, so we're back home. This is the morning after upstairs. We are washing clothes, getting things unpacked because we have another trip coming up here shortly, not to Orlando, but you know, another trip and I'll share that with you guys as we get closer. But yeah, I wanted to pop in and let you guys know the outcome of the trip. Um, made my coffee, gonna sit here and chat with you guys for a minute. But before we hop into that, I wanna give a few shout outs because I have absolutely been forgetting. These are the shout outs that I wanted to um, bring to you guys that were in the store before Black Friday. This isn't all of them. Um, so if I don't call your name, just know that um, I am so, so very thankful. The Black Friday orders, I have not printed those out yet. Um, but those of you who got in first, if you head over to Instagram, I don't know, it may not still, may not be on Instagram still, but it is in the community tab uh, here on the channel. But anywho, want to send a huge uh, shout out to Kim C from Patterson, New Jersey. She picked up one of the li red lipstick and a hoodie hoodie. So thank you so much, Kim, for that order. Kim, what order was that for you? That's actually Kim's first order. And Kim, let me know what the weather is like in Patterson. Are you able now to wear that hoodie? Regina F, this is her third order. She's from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And she picked up one of the CC Classic t-shirts, love that t-shirt. Also, if you head over to the community tab here on YouTube, I am actually wearing that t-shirt, but what I did, I cut it because, you know, I have several of the shirts, so I can take one and kind of chop and screw it. So I cut it and made it into like a little crop top that I use sometimes when we are on, uh, you know, little tropical vacations and I want to have it as a cover up. So that's a different way that you can wear your tee as well. You know, maybe get one and you can keep it and wear it the traditional way and then pick up one that you can kind of cut and make it a little bit cropped. All right, Sheila T. Sheila T is from Atlanta, Georgia, and I know exactly what area this is, Sheila. She also picked up one of the red lipstick and a hoodie hoodies. Sheila, have you worn yours yet? I will say it's a really pretty day here in Atlanta, not terribly cold, so you could probably get some use out of yours uh, today, Sheila. Darlene J is from Tyler, Texas, and she also picked up one of the hoodies. This is her third order. Uh, Joanne, I also her third order. She's from Atlanta also. She picked up one of the CC Classic t-shirts and one of the Celine t-shirts. Both of these t-shirts, guys, you have to make a custom order for, uh, but it's not really a custom order. They are over in the Lux area of the store. Also, those of you who are shopping the Shop My Closet area of the store, remember those items are also 20% off and this sale will be going on. It started Black Friday and it will run well into Cyber Monday. Eureth B, you guys know Eureth. Hi Eureth, cause I know you're watching. Hi Eureth. Eureth, I hope you and the family had a really good Thanksgiving. I'm gonna feature Eureth's picture right here in the video. Eureth, oh my gosh, she's my former college roommate. Did you see former college room or roommate or just college roommate? Eureth is my roommate from college and she is a really great supporter of the store. Don't you just love those friends who they don't call and ask for free t-shirts and hoodies, Eureth actually shops, all right? And I love her for that. And uh, she sent me in a picture of her wearing the Melanin and Locks hoodie. Eureth actually inspired me to get my locks. She is just so beautiful, a really sweet person. And so this is her here wearing her hoodie. Guys, if you ever want to be featured here on the channel or over in the newsletter, let me just say Eric does a really great job with the newsletter and he loves getting you guys' pictures in. So if you ever want to be featured, send me a picture, send it to the Unfrumpy Mommy um, uh, email 
and I'll put you guys here in the video and in the newsletter. So thank you so much, Eureth. You look amazing in it. And uh, if, if you guys were wondering, Eureth actually lives in Virginia. All right, she used to live here in Atlanta, but she lives in Virginia now. All right, Donna B. This is Donna's fifth order and she's from Chicago. Donna, if you had ordered a hoodie, I know you'd be able to wear yours now, but she just, um, she picked up a t-shirt, one of the self-love t-shirts. Shannon A. Shannon, your last name is very different. Wonder how you pronounce that. But she's from Pennsylvania, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. She picked up one of the OOTD hoodies and oh my gosh, Shannon actually purchased the Oran sandals. Um, Shannon, I'm thinking you're probably purchasing those for next summer or maybe you're going on like a summer trip or a uh, warm weather trip this winter because I know you're not wearing those Iran sandals around Chicago. No, she's from Pennsylvania right now because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's uh, kind of chilly in Pennsylvania too. But Shannon, this was her first order. And like I said, she purchased the OOTD hoodie and she actually purchased those Iran um, sandals, the Hermes sandals. So thank you so much for that. Jessica R. Jessica's from Boiling Brook, Illinois. So I know it's cold in Chicago. She picked up a hoodie. She picked up the Caramel Cutie hoodie. Angela W., her first order. She's from Orlando, Florida. Just left. And she picked up a lipstick and a hoodie. Red lipstick and a hoodie. Um, I will, it wasn't terribly, terribly hot. At night, you could actually get away in Orlando with wearing a hoodie. We actually went to see Black Panther at Disney Springs while we were there, and I actually wore a hoodie uh, in the movie theater. And lastly for today, guys, these are not all of the orders, but I don't want to take up too much time for you guys who aren't here for the orders. Um, but I um, just wanted to make sure I highlighted just a few of you. So I just really appreciate everyone. Rhonda D from St. Louis, Missouri. She picked up also a CC Classic t-shirt and she picked up one of the Fendi uh, hoodies that I have on the site. Again, those orders you have to go over and make a custom order for really easy. Just check on, just click on that. There's a little button up at the top of the website where you can um, get your Lux orders. Really, really simple. Guys, we've made a decision and drum roll, please. What are you doing? What do you, what do you thought? What do you guys think we're doing? Go ahead, pause the video. I want to see who gets it correct. Leave a comment in the description box. Are we packing up and moving or are we staying? We are staying. We're staying, guys. So many of you, <laughs> when we mentioned that we were absolutely looking to move, were like, why would you get up and sell you guys' home and move from Atlanta to Orlando? Several of you who actually live in Orlando left us these comments. You guys could not understand why we would leave Atlanta and move to Orlando. Orlando, before we started really, really doing a deep dive and looking, we felt it had a lot of the things that we wanted. And I think once we took the rose colored glasses off and kind of peeled back the layers of the onion, we saw that for us, Orlando will definitely have to be a place where we continue to visit. It will absolutely be a place that we continue to visit. But um, to give up this home in place of some of the homes, you know, that we looked at in Orlando, um, the math just was not mathing. If you've had an opportunity to be inside a home, um, I won't just say specifically here Atlanta, but you know, in some of the nicer areas of Georgia, maybe North Carolina, the builders in these area really know how to put together a good home, a really, really nice, well-made home. And it's not to knock any of the builders in, uh, specific builders in Orlando, I just feel like the homes that maybe we toured were not, they weren't homing the way that this home does. And um, specifically some of the features that I felt the homes were lacking, both Eric and I did, was the molding and just features here in Atlanta that would just be standard. We would have to come in, you know, after build and add those in also 
there are quite a bit of shortages in Orlando. Builders in Orlando are just taking too long, we feel, to get homes built. There are a lot of uh, shortages in terms of building materials. We absolutely understand that. Um, but again, once those homes were completed, some of the ones that we had an opportunity to look at, they just didn't give us what we would get with this home. So currently we are thinking down the road, we will, Lord willing, purchase a second home, keep this home, purchase a second home there. It would be absolutely much smaller, but to give this one up, uh, it, just didn't, it just didn't make sense. Not after looking at some of the homes that we saw, uh, some of the homes that we saw were in the current price range of this house. Um, I've mentioned before in videos how much this home is currently valued at. And so we would go in looking at homes in the same price range and it's like the math just not mathing. So anywho's, we are staying here in Atlanta. Um, kind of a bittersweet decision, but then I would also say, Again, after we took those rose colored glasses off, it just makes sense. Atlanta versus Orlando, at least right now in our life, it's just, it's just not, it's just not what we want to do as a permanent residence. But let me know you guys' thoughts on our decision. All right. Also, please, you guys know I sold all the furniture in the front of the house over in our living room sold it all is bare because guys we were gone also uh my purses i sold a lot of my luxury pieces um i actually gave away a lot of my luxury pieces i don't really miss those um, i i gave away sold the things that i really was not using the items that are currently still over on the website i will absolutely uh, continue to leave those there and you know um have those up for sale but you know, those items I don't miss because I really wasn't using those anyway, but now that em that room up front is empty. So you guys, please do me a favor, drop down, leave a comment, leave your suggestions um, on what you think I should do with that room. What should I do? Should I buy more living room furniture and place up there? I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? And, um, in the next video, I'll come in and let you know what I have decided to do with that room. Um, but yeah, so that's it. This is Saturday, like I said, after Thanksgiving, no leftovers here. So um, I am actually going to be detoxing for the coming weeks um, because the, though we did not have any uh, Thanksgiving feasts while we were in Orlando, we did eat. So I need to kind of back up um, off of my uh, calories and things like that. But you guys let me know what were the standout items that you had for Thanksgiving? What are you going to be doing with your leftovers? Are they already gone? How long do you keep your leftovers too? I would love to know that. When Monday and Tuesday roll around, will you still have leftovers in the kitchen that you are kind of chipping away at all right let me know but i want to thank you guys again for all the love in the store thank you guys so much for coming along with eric and i on this ride guys speaking of ride i don't have to go back to orlando for a while i'm kind of orlando out for the moment and it's not orlando per se it's the traffic coming back home and going to Orlando, let me say that. I've shown you the guy, I've, I've sh I shared with you guys the traffic going to Orlando, leaving Atlanta, just, just crazy traffic. Well, as of late, coming back home to Atlanta, I didn't share this with you guys, but there's always, there just multiple, multiple accidents. And it just extends the trip by, you know, an hour and a half to two hours. It actually happened on this trip. So I'm Orlando out for a little bit. I don't have to go back for a while. Um, but thank you guys for coming along with us. Again, thank you to everyone who jumped in and shot the Black Friday sale. Don't forget, we this sale does run over into Cyber Monday. All right, send your pictures in. If you want to be featured here uh, in one of the videos or uh, in the newsletter, don't be bashful. Send your picture and um, I'd love for everyone to see how you are styling up your wares from the Unfrumpy Mommy store. All right, so with that, 
I'm gonna tip on back upstairs, get to putting up um, away the clothes that were washed already. Uh, you guys know we're at Margaritaville. Margaritaville does have a washer and dryer. I will say Eric does not like the washer and dryer because it's the new fangled ones and they take longer. And so we didn't get a chance to wash and dry everything. We do have some laundry to take care of upstairs and I have some things I need to put away. All right. Thanks again, really appreciate it. I guess we can officially say now, happy holidays, guys. Happy holidays. Thanksgiving is over. We are now into the happy, happy, happiest season of the year. I think everyone would say is Christmas. And so just happy holidays, guys. I will now be able to put up more videos on, on a more consistent basis as we're not traveling back and forth to Orlando. So be on the lookout for more videos here more consistently. Saturdays and Sundays are typically going to be my upload days, but really appreciate all the love and continued support, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Happy holidays. Bye, guys.